Uh. Hey, what's up, everybody? What'd you think of Raw? Well, I'm sure you're gonna tell me, and I'm gonna tell you, and we're gonna get we're gonna get naked right now. And I gotta get my Skype started so we can get all every all the co-hosts in here, and we can get going. We can take your phone calls about Raw. Let's do this. Ryback sucks. What do you think? Here we go. Everybody, welcome to the Raw Review. What's up, Tommy C? I barely hear you. What's happening? Hey, what's going on? And uh, Dave Van Cure is here as well, I believe. Dave, what's up? Feed me whores. Is that how it goes? That's not <laughs> Feed how it goes. me boring. <laughs> uh, can we assume that Sheamus is really hurt since Rowan, for some reason, was out there? It looks like it. It looks like it. Are you in a like a bathroom or something? Yeah, no. it's wrong, dude. No, I don't. No, I'm not. Your mic fucked. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You sound like you're New going audio to the device found. Skype has found a microphone. Uh, don't use for Skype. Okay, hold on. Is there this, you go. There you go. Is, is yeah, it, I knew. I needed to do that with mine before I started. Oh, my Dumbass. bad. Well, Lee has <laughs> been playing. Lee has been playing a lot of World of Warcraft on here, so microphone stuff has been going back and forth. So, but hey, uh -huh. as long as everybody can hear me, we're good. No, but so. Uh, you know, I never saw Rowan, I never saw Harper, like, get in a fight with Rowan, or I never saw them have any quarrels, so, randomly, Rowan's, like, uh, did I miss something there, or is it just, it's gotta be Seamus is injured? I guess so, last week he was, like, a rapist, and now he's on Team Cena, I don't know what's going on, it's, it's Perfect. strange. I mean, he it's, rapes it, Team Cena. it's easy to explain, <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's easy to explain, you know, like, you held me down and I always wanted to be something. I always wanted to be a circus worker, like a carnival. <laughs> uh, but that didn't work out. But uh, I don't know. Um, I That was terrible. I, I thought maybe somebody big was going to come back because of the free network thing. And, yeah. you know, Jericho, even The Rock crossed my mind for a second for some reason. Um, the Giant came back from the dead. That oh, that had been great. Bucks. Randy Randy Orton would have made sense. Uh, that's what I, that's what I was anticipating. I didn't want it to be anybody it who's really just been here. Although you could count The Rock, you could count Jericho. I was hoping it would be somebody. It would be interesting. I put it that way, and, and it wasn't. Instead, it was just blah. Like if I if if I wasn't getting the network, if put it this way, if I didn't have the network and I was thinking about getting it, or I never watched it, but I, I thought I'm gonna watch the pay per view for the first time since it's free. Um, I w I went from at the beginning of that being excited to see what's going to happen here to going, oh, oh, and then not watching it. Yeah, at the very least, having Rowan and Harper both in the match on opposite sides, it's something new. It's something different. I can at least find some positives in this. I thought Raw was fairly decent. It started great and it ended fairly well. So I didn't have a problem with that. And I'm, I'm excited to see something new. So, hey, let's put Rowan and Harper in there. Let's see what they got. Fuck it. I don't know if that's new, but I mean, oh. here, here's the thing. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't care. I know people started commenting that they liked it, and I, I do like it. But I like it because it went. It was like, whoa, what's going on? But it's just not what I was looking for. And honestly, that raw was so terrible that, uh, you know, I thought this. I was hoping that would save it. I hope something crazy would happen, and said nothing happened. I didn't hate this raw. You know, I felt that they, they built on storylines that they're going. You never somewhere. fucking do, do you? Well, shit, I was until the last few weeks. You guys are so fucking hard on it. It's like, it's ridiculous. I'm going to be really hard on it. I thought tonight yeah, was... hard on all of you. Uh, no, I, 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 I've been giving it sevens mostly and maybe a couple sixes, but I'd give tonight a four. And really? I think I think tonight sucked. The Intercontinental Ooh. title match didn't do nothing for you? I liked... I did... I was shocked by it. I don't know if I liked it. Um, I would have preferred those two to have a match at a pay-per-view and he lose it, but I, I didn't mind him losing it. I, I did think that was kind of cool. I do like Harper so much, so I, I do. Yeah. I did kind of enjoy seeing him hold that title. That was very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's how I felt about it. It was interesting. Um, 
But no, it, but I wasn't like, damn, like, here we go, you know. I, My I God, know. he asked you a question. You fucking start switching sides right off the... What the fuck's going on? <laughs> well, because it... it oh, you okay. know, Joe, it wasn't that bad. Well, yeah, you know, I, I kind of like this. <laughs> no, I mean, that was the best thing of the... That was one of the best... I mean, he asked me about the one of the best things of the whole night. It so. was the best oh, part right, of the my, show. All I, mean, I know is Vince McMahon picked the wrong night to fucking yell at the crowd. Tonight was the night. They sucked. <laughs> They're yeah. all horrible. Yeah, the crowd wasn't very good tonight. Oh, the crowd was horrid. It was all kids. Yeah. That's why you look at them like it was a kid audience tonight. No, they didn't like seeing either. I guess. Gosh, yes. Yeah, yeah pretty... I, know, I, I like some of the matches that took place. I like the 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 little bit of the Kid Rose match that we got. I like Adam Rose's continued descent to heal them. I like that. Uh, the grumpy cat shit was terrible. Oh, I absolutely love the bunny humping. I was I couldn't the, believe the bunny that. humping was great. <laughs> when he humped, oh my god, I lost it. I mean, that's that's how they get me, guys. That's the humor I'm in. It's Jordan Smoggle. Hey, look at him. <laughs> it's just nature. And then and then Lana about put me in a coma when she you know teased a a naked photo. I swear to God, I'd wear her like Bane's mask and Batman. <laughs> oh, oh man. No. Uh, I would love. Uh, uh, Simmons would have had a good time with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my dick. That's my dick. I, I Lana. Like... <laughs> Lana. Then you forgot to sit on my face. Lana, show me your pussy. <laughs> Oh man, I'd like to see Rusev just rape somebody. No, no, but seriously, like, tonight wasn't. <laughs> tonight was just. No, I didn't. I wasn't feeling it. And it was. I was like, the only thing that would save this is someone cool coming back. Can you imagine what they would like? I, if I was the WWE, I would have been like, let's bring Sting back tonight. Oh, we'll oh, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll make it seem is like Skinner's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's Luke he's Harper. Luke Harper. Yeah. Um, no, no, yeah, there you no go. we'll make think about this right they make Cena look like this underdog you know he's standing there by himself Dolph Ziggler comes out maybe um, and that's it you know what I mean and then all of a sudden you know you know, they're either he's getting his ass kicked by all of them or something like that. Even maybe Ryback comes out. I don't know. But then, you know, the it's still it's still six on three or whatever it was or seven on three or whatever. Yeah, then bam, the lights went out. It would have been unbelievable. And you had everyone watching the network who maybe never watched it because it's free. Turning on their Xbox, downloading the app, getting people involved because holy shit. And yeah, people who yeah. haven't watched in a while or that, that older demographic. If these fucking motherfuckers were smart, they would have given us more than what we wanted and then so like this month only and then fucked us over just like usual next month do they really think anyone's going to be interested in this or give two shits or even you know what i mean this yeah. is embarrassing and i didn't I even know, watch you by know, the way. a lot of the social media trends i gotta be honest a lot of people are are kind of up on this stuff that's been happening in the last few weeks because they've been focusing on younger talent and things are trending in an upward manner i mean I, I'm kind of with them. I, I'm, I'm kind of liking where it's going. I like the New Day promos. I like the fact that we're getting a new faction. Even Big E had a nice little promo tonight. There's a lot of good things that came out of Raw. And I think that we're – is look, is Survivor Series going to be great? No. I think there's like four fucking matches. No, it's not going to be fantastic. But it's to get us to the big events. It's to get us to WrestleMania. It's to get us to Royal Rumble. It's to get us to those points. Should it be that way? Of course not. Yeah, you know, but I bet the people, who paid, the people who paid for the tickets – you it's, know what you're uh, saying makes no sense, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, it's like saying uh, this album yeah. it really sucks, but you should listen to it. We yeah, know what we out. we know what we got. I'm not saying it's it's terrible, but I'm out. saying It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know. I, I didn't watch, so my, I'm not valid as far as. Oh, oh yeah. God! <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! No, 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 I, dude. I, I'm talking. This is the same shit that's been going on for months. If you, look, it's, like, it's the same thing as like when someone doesn't vote and then complains about the government. Shut the fuck up. If you don't watch, Jesus Christ. Well, actually, I, I do that, but that's because the assholes that run aren't fucking worth it. So I do the same when they thing. elect a Kofi Kingston, I don't give a don't fuck. Don't... I voted <laughs> once and it didn't count. So if you don't use your voice, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> I used it in 2001 and we elected fucking like Psycho. Tell me, uh, a non-vote is also a uh, expression of a polit political. Goddamn uh, right. Yeah, I, I don't buy that. I'll vote when someone fucking running isn't a moron. How about that? Uh, if if uh, Adolf Hitler's going up against the head of the Ku Klux Klan, I don't know it's if I need to vote. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the most ridiculous fucking example. <laughs> Humanly fucking. Well, no. what if an alien? What if an alien and big yeah, What the fuck? <laughs> no, because if, no, because if one guy's in a room and is like. 
well, what do I believe in? I believe that there's an invisible man in the sky and we should stop all this scientific research. And then the other guy goes, I believe we should just give hands out to everybody who doesn't do shit and will lose money and will crash the whole fucking economy. I look at both of those things and go, well, neither one of those sounds like a good idea. <laughs> neither one of those is acceptable. I'm not voting for neither one of these people. How the fuck is not that not understandable? Yeah. I'll vote you know, for if you had Jesse the body in there, you'd, you'd I, all be free. You know who I'm going to vote the next race? I'm going to I'm gonna write in fuck it. That's <laughs> what I'm going to write in. I'm going to write <laughs> fuck it at on the fucking poll. Voted. No, I'm not, I'm not going to vote, though, because I'm not going to jury duty because two assholes uh, weren't fucking likable. <laughs> okay. you, know, speak, I, you said something about aliens a minute ago. Uh, I had a question about E.T. You ever think he fucked or fingered that little girl? <laughs> Drew Barrymore? I don't know. You ever think he fucked that kid? <laughs> Did E.T. sexually molest Drew Barrymore? Hey, dude, he's got a lit up finger. What do you think lit it up? <laughs> Light it up! Chris the soul Jericho! Of a child. Welcome to the Chris Jericho Podcast! Stamps.com! Check out Stamps.com! <laughs> They're a fucking scam, by the way, that place. Don't ever go there. You know, you guys gotta do some mail, and you know, do you ever, do you guys, uh, you know, we wear underwear 90% of the day, or of our lives, whatever the fuck. Letterenvelopes.com, you heard of Dollar Shave Club? This is Letter Club, <laughs> for just $1.99, we send you 50 of these letter things. It's fucking insane, it's crazy, we're doing it now on letters.com. Go check it out, Chris Jericho! When we get back, we're not gonna talk about wrestling, we're gonna wait another 7 minutes and 7 promos until we get to the guest. Get ready! Uh, sorry. That's basically, what you get, man. With my band. Just, <laughs> just fast forward through the first twenty minutes, and you'll get. My band. Then you'll get. Then you'll get one take. No, then you'll get like you know a good fifteen minutes of talk, a break, fifteen minutes of talk. You'll but, get a very mediocre interview, is what you'll right. get. Right. It, uh, You'll have a lot of ass sucking. There was a girl. Yeah. On, there was a girl on NBC earlier. I forget who she. Oh, she was interviewing, interviewing Taylor Swift, and um. <laughs> In the interview, Taylor Swift was like, my album, and I need, need. And then the girl, you know, like, you know, it's the other girl was just like, oh, you are so good at that. And it was just one big suck face. I just want to <laughs> puke all over myself. She was like, yeah, forget those people. Like, And it was like, this is not an interview. This is Taylor Swift saying stupid shit, and this girl looking at pussy while she says it. Uh, who wants to watch this? What kind of interview is this? I, 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 I would I would have watched her if she actually liked Taylor Swift's pussy. I would have watched that. I want to hit Taylor Swift in the face with a shovel, but I think somebody did that. She looks kind of like she's been hit yeah. with a shovel. Uh, her and Avril Levine, I think it would catch fire in front of <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get back well, to we're wrestling. We're off and rolling, aren't we? Jesus Christ! <laughs> the show was so good. Well, the rest, yeah, the wrestling was terrible tonight. But uh, let's get back to the bunny humping. I thought was great because I'm immature. That was like my whole thing. <laughs> During the Cesaro, Cesaro uh, match, that's what I, I thought they might have been yelling boring. Oh, that was not. I, I wasn't interested in that at all. I don't remember. I don't know. It wasn't even a poorly wrestled match, and it was boring. No, the Cesaro Ryback match wasn't bad at all. I didn't think. It was bad at all, but nobody cared. I mean, I didn't even care. I didn't care. care. I didn't give a shit about that. I was bored by I it. I like those guys, both of them. It, it just goes to show that people are more into chanting shit than they are the actual people. Uh, it, 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 I feel the same way about Daniel Bryan to an extent. People like chanting yes more than they even cared about fucking Brian most of the time. And it's the same <laughs> with fucking Ryback. Yeah. He's poor, but they don't give a fuck about what he's doing. The he he can't do anything. What? I thought his game has stepped up considerable since he's been back. He had a good match with Cesaro tonight. He's not botching as much. He seems to have opened up his moveset a little bit. I will I, say oh, that. I will uh, say he doesn't botch. What did I botch? He hasn't nice. been botching. <laughs> he hasn't. Time. Botch. No, he hasn't been doing anything uh, like that recently. It's much more clean. But it doesn't matter because he's one big block of boring. He looks like a rock soldier from the Ninja Turtles cartoon. He, he, um, he was funny when he was in the back and he was being an at and when he's being funny, he's funny. He actually is funny. But uh, anyway, let's take phone calls because I, I have no idea where to go. So when you don't know where to go, you go to the you go you look to your blood, you look to the fans, you look to the click. Joe Latimer, what's up? What's, what's going on, man? Uh, nothing. I'm drinking water and, uh, looking at your stony face on Skype. Drinking water? You sure that's not vodka? No, I promise uh, it's, uh, it's water. If it was vodka, I'd have an erection right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up, man? What'd you think of Raw? Because I don't know. I think it was terrible. Um, I thought it's going to be better than Survivor Series. You thought Raw tonight was going to be, was better than Survivor Series? Going to be? It's going, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Wow. Potentially, since there's only like four friggin' matches. But exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, we know, we all know that the bunny's gonna face Adam Rose, but that's yeah, that'll end up happening. Stupidity. And the stupid thing is, we know the bunny's gonna win. Uh, you know, if, if the bunny gets revealed to be somebody of relevance, then the storyline will fucking be something. But who are they gonna have him be? I mean, maybe it's how they introduce Sami Zayn. I don't know. Sami yeah. Zayn. It's gonna that's be somebody. They gotta bring up. him up. Mm, that's Sammy a good point. Zane. That would be Think weird. That bunny's got it? any tricks up his sleeve? Get it? <laughs> ah! It's Barry Horowitz. Yeah. Barry Horowitz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody. Dude, you gotta but, fucking uh, clip some Tommy uh, clips, dude. I swear. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tommy you know takes. Is that gonna be like too much like Jackie the Joke? <laughs> well, we call it, we call it Tommy takes, but then Tommy talks might rip might sue us. I uh. <laughs> I actually thought I thought the promos were great. Yeah, like, that, that, yeah. I the mean, only the only thing I had a problem was with the the amount of fucking goddamn commercials in the fucking show. Uh, I mean, uh, it was ridiculous. At one point, we I think we had like ten minutes straight. Yeah, they've been doing that a lot recently. Uh, but you know, I mean, what do you what do you think's gonna happen? You know, they're trying yeah, to. Yeah, they like, um, Did you guys' uh, backs get tired from bending over all night? <laughs> Hey, it's not me, man. I hated fucking Raw tonight. I was, I'm pissed off. I fucking I hate that ending. I was into it. I was into it. I was, I was in there I'm fucking with you. I was, I was into it. I was, I was into, into, into it. it. I was into you that last segment until nothing don't happened. Don't tell me that you weren't into it because I know damn well you were into it. I was. You in, I was. I your fucking seat the entire show. No, no. I was on yes, the. Uh, no, hurt. I was on the edge of my. Sh I was on the edge of my seat when Wy when the Wyatt won the title, and at the end. And then nobody came out to be on Cena's team that I gave a shit about, and I want to die. Yeah, it oh, sounds like he was on the end of his toilet seat, maybe. So, right? when, yeah. so when, <laughs> when Big Show got offered the Hall of Fame position, you didn't sit there and think, oh, maybe he'll take it. I thought it might We all knew he wouldn't. We all knew he wouldn't, but maybe he would. You know they what? reference some shit they usually don't reference. They they made a reference to WCW tonight. They made a reference to how Big Show debuted, being that you know they had him build as Andre's kid. I yeah. found that interesting. They made references yeah. that they usually don't make. That was there's something interesting that they happened. They did that on the fucking Monday night. Well, yeah, I mean that's why they want people to watch the. I don't I mean, know, it's... but I, I'll tell you that was something cool that I liked. I was like, woo, we're getting like this is like behind the scenes type of. You know, shenanigans you don't do. That's breaking kayfabe right there. Touch I mean, Elizabeth. <laughs> the one thing I want to touch on. The one thing I want to touch on is Lana. He's, Lana. He's, 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 yeah, I, uh, I'd love to touch on that, but a review on Lana. That's that's for a different show. But, <laughs> no, uh, no, that's for this show. That's for, that's for this show. <laughs> what right, show right. have you been listening to? Yeah. But you want video? Yeah, we can hook up the video, but you don't want to see that. Oh god! <laughs> of you? What the hell are you doing? I know. <laughs> well, while we're talking about this, shout out, shout out to Mark Marrow who's having heart surgery uh, yeah. coming up. Hope he's okay. Anyway, since we're talking about sex, I don't know what that he has to do with it. Sucked in the ring, pal. No, <laughs> hey, he was badass as Johnny B. Bad man with the fucking little confetti cannon and he, shit. That was awesome. Well, he busted open. Yeah. Uh, if he didn't bust open Stone Cold's lip, we wouldn't have had that epic promo with the blood. Ah, yeah. Anyway, Joe, what the hell you got? What do I got? What do I got? What do you, what, what do you want to touch on? What, who do you, you want to touch? I was going with Heath Slater. Oh. The bleep, the bleep out on Heath oh, Slater. Great. Did you cut that? Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. I like that he brought it. I said, he said something before that that was weak. Like, he almost could have said something heavier. And instead, he kind of went with the softer word. And it went from, like, oh, shit, he's getting real to, like, oh, yeah, it was stupid. And then, but then he said that, and they bleeped it. And I was like, oh, yeah. And, and then he got his ass beat. And it was like, oh, yeah. Have you ever heard that on Raw? Oh yeah. yeah, a I raw that know. wasn't taped. Uh, yeah, I think so, but not much. No, almost, almost not really. You know, I end up having to watch a lot of raw on on Sky, so I hear the bleeps quite often. So they they do bleep, uh, and they want with the whole edgy. We're gonna add bleeps. Like they're they're touching borderline like Y seventeen. Yeah, they're they're with um, the with the, okay. the topless Lana. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, go get drunk and yeah. jerk off. I'm already. <laughs> <laughs> it's really edgy out there. That's for sure. Hey, you know, I mean, for Christ's sake, man. This God is damn good. it. Uh, never mind. I mean, really. <laughs> I didn't even have to. I don't. I, uh, 
You know, I, don't, I am getting tired of the Ambrose Wyatt thing. I just want him to fight. Jesse, now. they said goddamn tonight. Just so you know. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, I don't care. I, that even that. It, My taint. I just, I just want to see him that. fight. I'm tired. Of, they've been giving the same promo for a month now. Yeah. It wasn't even that good tonight. I was expecting tonight. a little more. Yeah. They yeah, should have put those guys in an angle to begin with. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree. With, I don't think they should either. Now, uh, three, four. Well, maybe the match will be saved. The whole thing. Three, four, seven. What's up? Oh, what's going on? Is LB? LB. What's up? <laughs> what's up, lesbian bitch? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? I don't. I almost fell in and out of sleep on on Raw tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost committed suicide tonight. But uh, hey, that's what happened. On happens. the edge of your roof, then. I see. <laughs> Yeah, I thought about it. I said, you know what? If someone doesn't come back or this isn't an epic comeback to be on Cena's team to build this thing to make it cool, um, I'm going to go to sleep. And Ryback coming out was so stupid. I mean, we all we already knew he was on the freaking team. Who didn't know Ryback? Why is that a surprise? Hey, hey, hey. It's No, nah, I thought they guy. was going to do something with Ryback where you just keep him. Like what I said last week, the I walk along Batista thing, like, He's with nobody. He's just, you know, I can't fit into so jeans. It would have been kind of cool if he came out and signed the contract as his own fucking team. That would have been kind of cool. You know, like, yeah. and then they would I, no, I would have ripped. I would have ripped stuff up in my house if Cena. If that ended with Cena talking to them, I would have killed somebody. Right well, now, Tommy, know. Tommy, Tommy is about to laugh because I'm about to say this word. There what? should have been a certain person that should have came out as the last but, man. Who? <laughs> Sting. Things should have fucking Shit. came out. Yeah, I already said this. That. I just yeah, said we that. covered that. It, you, you, yeah, he was, he was here in your ring when you, when you, when you mentioned that. Yeah, no, <laughs> the, I just, uh, I said in the comments, uh, I would have taken The Rock or anything. But no, I thought Sting was just the perfect thing to oh, do. I mean, fucking Rock, man. That, I, I knew, know. I knew it wasn't going to be Orton because I'm like, the nah, movie. they probably going to give him a vacation. He probably going to come back. No, he's, 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 he's shooting a movie, so I knew he's he wasn't going to. Yeah. I thought he was going to on vacation. Uh, he's doing a Condemn 2. Oh. Well. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know like I know. his career is going, yeah. Damn, son. Still the should have been staying. If you're not careful, I'll get you fired. I can't even talk like Randy Orton. I mean, he's just, Randy Orton reminds me of like the football player in high school that was like the, the main jock and he was a douchebag. Big <laughs> pick. Yeah. And he made yeah. it to the WWE. The, the coach's son. Yeah, the, the coach's son is right, <laughs> and he also reminds me of a guy I used to work with, and he was the he was the boss's son, and he was a little prick, and he looked and talked just like Randy Orton. It was unbelievably similar. Might have been Randy Orton. He never. I used to uh, from Massachusetts. Yes, I thought everybody's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of people who are douchebags from Massachusetts, what's up, Tony? <laughs> what would you think of Raw, you little fucking homo? Hey, thanks. Um, I thought it sucked. Hey, thanks, fucko. I wanted to call someone a homo all night, and I figured now was the time. No. Uh, oh, yeah. I picked the right guy. You sound like you want to shoot on Joe. Go for it. I think it'd be hilarious. Go. Oh, that would be great. Please. Hey, go for it. Rip it up. Yeah. Have Rip you noticed up. that since he can't come up with anything, have you noticed that he went through puberty? <laughs> how it sounds like dramatically different than he did two months ago? Oh my god, yeah, hell yeah. Yes, yeah. Like, guys, how you doing? Go <laughs> well, fuck yourself, Joe. I've noticed how Tom I noticed how Tommy <laughs> mentions Jay, that Joe. like every single week. I are you like sad that I, show? I want give, give me a break. I want to do a cheap joke. Just, uh, no, yeah, I, I just think don't uh, don't call up sounding like Jaron again or we'll give out your number. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the Lithith. Alright, what do you got? Um, Ross sucked it. What is it was yeah, like you said before, Ryback was so fucking obvious. I mean, they treat it like a surprise, but we all knew he was on, he was on the fucking team, which was, you know, what yeah. I figured they were going to do anyway. I was, but if, how about Stephanie McMahon's laugh? That was pretty, that was pretty shitty. Uh, it sounded like a fucking <laughs> witch. Well, that, that one I thought was funny because it sounded like she was a witch. I also thought it was Triple H was funny when he started laughing and patting the turnbuckle when Cena was oh, outside. Oh, yeah, like he was, oh, he, he was fell stuttering. asleep on the turnbuckle. He couldn't even talk. Yeah. You know, all that tonight did was make me want to see Triple H wrestle Cena again. That, that's actually what I wanted to see. It was weird. Well, it, looks like the they're setting up, it looks like they're setting up Triple H and Ryback, if anything. That's, I, mean, that's, I don't, I don't want to see that. I do not want to see that. It's the okay, second guy. show where they've had a stare-off like that. I mean, yeah. I, I, If I, I see know. that, I'm going to puke on myself. I think they're setting that up for Mania in case they can't uh, get... Vince, uh, Vince wants to push him, and fucking Triple oh, H's like, it's gotta go through me, Vince. They're pushing gonna, him to the moon. I think they're gonna save that for Mania if they can't get Rock or Austin, which it doesn't look likely for either of them. 
So Shit, I, maybe, I, maybe Triple H thinks he can get a good match out of him. Honestly, maybe you know. He worked. There's me being positive. Tonight, Enjoy so. it. Yeah, I know, right? That's a fleeting <laughs> moment, like a fucking comet. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna suck though. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There's <laughs> our Jesse. Probably gonna suck though. He's right. Missy, no one's gonna survive this shit. <laughs> Mm. Sorry. I'd... Imagine if, like, you know, Al Qaeda just bombed the ring. It'd be a great pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I can imagine what the what would happen after that. They would like sell the pieces of the ring to all the families affected. <laughs> not, 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 Michael. <laughs> Keep it at Titan. And then Cena cuts a promo and ruins the entire seriousness between the whole feud tonight <laughs> outside the ring. Great. Yeah, get that 990. It's not even 999. It's free. And is John Cena black? I mean, like, he sounded blacker than Big E in that friggin' uh, promo that Big E. He'll turn. And let me tell you something. Like, no, go, no, you're not black. You're not. You're from West Newberry, you're Massachusetts. Not from Boston. He's from, he's from Boston, but he's really not. He's from, he'll, no, he's he'll from. He'll brush your mouth like Colgate. He says he's, <laughs> no, he's, he's announced, he's announced as West Newberry, Massachusetts. But then they talk him about being a thug. West Newberry's rich people. What the hell are they talking about? 502, what's up? Tony, goodbye. Probably a lot of wiggles. <laughs> Tonight's episode of Raw sucked all the way until the ending. That he liked the ending. Well, yeah. you turned it off? Yeah, I thought the ending was pretty okay. The thing is, is that Vince McMahon, he keeps on selling the WWE Network. What he needs to be doing is focusing on today's product. The reason why people's not getting the network is because today's product sucks. Mm. Yeah. Well, to him, I, to him, I'm thinking it's one and the same. You know, he's trying to do both, and it's you know he, maybe he's not focusing as much on the product as he probably should be. But I see upward trends. I see younger guys getting pushes. I see younger guys starting to get more time. I you, see it happening. It's you know fair. what I well, see? You know what I'm starting to realize? I'm starting to realize that we're just getting the Vince McMahon we've always gotten. We're just getting the product we. I think everyone has a loopy vision, and I'm start, myself included, by the way. Uh, the Vince McMahon is some kind of crazy radical guy who wants like all this edgy stuff when um, no, he really doesn't oh, because he's never done it unless it was against WCW. He was, goes with the flow of whatever the fucking climate in the world is. Whatever he thinks that the world can accept, that's what he fucking goes with. He knew that the time was right. He, he didn't really have a choice in the Attitude Era. He did what he had to fucking do. He went apeshit because that's what was selling. Well, now people are so is... fucking crazy with everything. Nobody's going to accept the fuck. If they went complete full-on Attitude Era, did something really fucking edgy, I, Jesus, could you imagine the fucking backlash? He doesn't want to risk that. He's a publicly traded company. If we saw the, the amount of dollars coming in versus, you know, w with or without the kids and saw them compared, we'd probably just have to understand it. Um, More money comes in with kids. You know, maybe we should all unsubscribe from the network. Maybe if the network only had like 100,000 buys, they would have to do something like that. Maybe then they'd be competing with themselves. Uh, Anna, it would just go fully free. You have all these shows like The Walking Dead, you know, all these other shows down. that, you know, uh, edgy and stuff. Breaking Bad, son. Like oh, Breaking damn. Bad. And yet, what? WWE is still stuck in PG Wonderland. And the thing is, okay, if WWE want to stay PG, okay. But here's the thing. Everybody back, everybody remember back during the early days of SmackDown, Don Marie and Tori Wilson had a lingerie contest on SmackDown. Guess what? It was still PG. So what the hell is going on? Yeah, SmackDown was PG from the get-go, and that it was great back when the were first began. Yeah, well, they had better writers, too, and a different writing system. Better roster, yeah. a different way of doing things, too. It wasn't so controlled. It was all. It was still partially had a lot of the old ways still in, involved into it. You know? And they still had crowds that were fucking massively into the product, and that's faded, too. Let's keep that in mind as well. Well, Whether they were driven away or not, the crowds have fucking diminished. They're not what they were in the late yeah, 90s, yeah, early 2000s. That's WWE's fault. Uh, the, the partially. Crowd. Partially. Uh, but it's also because there's no competition. There's no. There's nothing I mean, else out there pushing it. There's no. Yeah, there's no you, WCW. You got a bunch of guys at the top of the at the top of the card that are making sure they got their shots, um, uh, their 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 spots confirmed, and the rest of the company be damned. They're so, still making I mean, their money. You have this click-like atmosphere in WCW. 
you you've got this PG restraint with it, which uh, gets everybody creatively. And after after about ten years since Cena really bursts on the scene, it's a dead product. So, and that and, and the caller's right. They got to worry about today, but they can't because they invested too much money in it. Yeah, right. we, I, again, we, we can't even get a be decent at, backdrop. Know, we have the same one every week. <laughs> People look at old episodes of the Attitude Era and the Rootless Aggression Era on the yeah. WWE Network, you know, more than they watch the actual product in some cases. Oh. And that's sort of sad. You know, yeah, the they whole put thing the is fucking sad. Raws on there. I still go on YouTube because they don't... They, when are they going to release the fucking Monday Night Raws that we all want to see and actually let us go archive right to them? I don't know. They, let I don't us, know why they, they started happened. Nitro, but, like, for me, I really don't care because I don't... I mean, I've already seen them. Now. You know what they should do yeah. is they should have every Raw and Nitro from the same that Monday night back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared, that would be the yeah. smart way of doing it. So you if could they go, just did a weekly show where they did, released that every Monday. That would be kind of cool. That would be cool. Yeah, or or yeah, it's you're far right. Too much. Yeah, but they fucking released a whole year's worth on on uh, they, like they, ECW on fucking WCW. Now where's Raw? There's no. I don't care if they, they do can. the same thing. They could do the same you know? thing. They could release every Raw and Nitro, and they'd be next to each other. So you go left. It's it's the date. Yeah. And start Raw, with 1995 right? or some shit. 93. I don't even oh, care about great. that. I just want to see it start. Give us a full year, and then I'm happy for now. That'd be great. Yeah. I would love to see that. Dave Rose is here with us too. What's up, Dave? Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? Uh, How are you doing out there? We're just all bitching and complaining and putting tampons in. With Basically, four yeah. out of four out of ten is what I'd give Raw tonight. Oh, you're I right was, there. The right. only thing that I really enjoyed, only because it was different and it was surprising, was um, uh, Rowan coming out on Cena's team. That was really the only thing that. And, but here's the thing: and it was an accident. It's, it's totally faulty. He hasn't been established as a character. They have so many other uh, yeah. characters in the bank that they could have easily used, uh, especially new talent that they could have helped build up. Fuck, even the bunny. <laughs> he's got, it was, he's no, no, got no. more it history. It was an audible. It was an audible, and they were like, okay, who can we throw out there? Who Seamus looks like Kurt. Seamus? Who has red hair? What, what's well, no, it's like, it's like who, who can we do to counter Rowan or Harper? Well, so they, What's they, even they, worse is the fact that Harper won the title tonight. Yeah. So it's like, you know, uh, they bring in uh, Rowan. He's supposed to be now his his direct competitor. Is he going to win the belt and with no history, nothing? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. They have, it pisses well, me wait, off. Wait, 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 wait. They have time to build that. That has nothing to do with the Intercontinental title. They're going to have them. They're having a five on five match Survivor Series. This has nothing to do with Harper's fucking title right now. They can build that in the future if they want to go that route. I know. This, I just think at it least compounds. they're using, But see what they did tonight. The they, issue. Well, yeah. If anything. I can run counter to that point because now they've sown a seed to have that feud build. If anything, they're giving us a feud for later. They built that tonight, starting now. No. There you so, go. First of all, Ziggler gets too much disrespect. He should be a fucking oh, superstar. Oh, I'm so fucking tired of that. Then shit. there's Ziggler all these all other characters. Fucking respect. There's all these other people in the back that need to be uh, propped up more than they are right now. Especially, you know, uh, I, fuck, man. Like, it, it's just unbelievable. Like, uh, We've seen uh, Big E for the first time in in how long in just a vignette? I mean, that guy should be pushed a lot more. What about uh, Titus O'Neil? He could have gotten over with the fucking ample time they gave him uh, about a year ago. The guy couldn't fucking get over. Look, you at give the too event. much credit to WWE creative man. Look at the. Main Are you looking for a job there or something? No. How am I giving them too much credit? I'm simply trying not to. I'm trying to look at the most positives I can. Look at the goddamn main event for uh, Survivor Series. Let's look at let's actually look who's in the fucking match. Look at the young guys who are in the match. Let's let's see who we got. We got fucking Rowan and Harper. We got Rusev. We got fucking Ryback. We got uh, there. Oh, your boy Ziggler that you were just sucking off. He's there too. I mean, <laughs> How's he taste? How's he taste? <laughs> hey, I'm sure he tastes great. Ask Amy Schumer. Nothing face to face. But, <laughs> there's there's stuff there. Gee, and Ziggler gets disrespected. I'm tired of this Ziggler gets buried bullshit. Man, you really God get damn. you know you like this show, but then you get really nasty. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. It's you wearing, you're wearing me down, Jesse. Oh, that was good shit. It's always the, great, guys. But you know that fucking Ziggler? I'd bury him alive. Show <laughs> sucks. You guys suck. It's, everything it's, sucks. I can't. I just don't understand how you. And then you go after the, the one of the best guys on the show. What do you think of Cena? I'm, I'm not going against Ziggler. I'm just simply saying I'm tired of everybody saying that he's getting, getting buried. He's had the Intercontinental. Is that him losing it? 
He lost it for, for a reason. It was a fucking story builder. Hey, Dave, he went against the authority. Up. They told him it was going to happen, <laughs> and they took the fucking belt from him. Jesus Come Christ. Come on. Come on, Dave. Dead on Dave's right on this particular issue. <laughs> On this right the whole fucking time. You Where have you been said listening? that three months ago. You could have said that three months ago, but he's he's right at the top of the card, and he was not there three months ago. So you really can't say that unless they unless they just go back to burying him after this. And Dave Rose is right. And I just scored with St. Louis. <laughs> Way to play both sides. <laughs> well, I mean, you, right. <laughs> Dave's right, but if things go wrong, then the other Dave's right. Just pick a Dave. <laughs> well, either way, it looks like he's right, but. Exactly. All you got to do is say. More than you don't like, have to say dead on Dave or Dave you Rose. Not, you just say. You, you cannot bitch about this fucking guy uh, being buried when he's at the top of the fucking card. So you maybe. Just say Dave's right. right. Oh, no, man. He, he, did, you, did you guys see that promo he did back? Even he was still holding the belt at that point. I think it might have been um, when he was holding the uh, World uh, uh, Heavyweight Championship before they merged it. He did this great promo talking about the fact that they were just burying him. And um, it was just incredible because it was a great cut. And he really got to the point that um, it's basically creative and management that's holding him back. Yeah. And I don't care what you're saying, Dave, about the fact that, oh, he's at the top of his card or whatnot. He's not getting the respect he deserves uh, in, in maintaining that uh, that run. He's well, a great character. We don't and know. It's enjoyable oh, to watch. How can you fucking say that? We don't know that. All we know is what we see right now. And right now, he's in the main event and fucking surprise. Hang up on this fucking guy. What are you talking about? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Well, he's finally it's ridiculous. I mean, he G Ziggler has finally uh, gotten you know. I mean, what we all have been bitching about for years. You know, yeah, I mean, I, I guess he finally got through the the penance that uh, he got from uh, Randy Orton. Yeah, he opened his big mouth about uh, the Golden Boy, and he got shut down for two years. Well, and there was also you know after he, his injury they, too. They gave him the runs with the title, and he immediately got hurt. That's not his fault that he got the concussions, but that's, I mean that's something that they have to take into consideration. If well, a guy is fucking injury prone, he's so injured. I'm sure according to you, Dave uh, Cesaro is a is a star A player there at uh, WWE, and they suck his cock and all that, huh? No, Cesaro's gone. He's uh, th here's see this is shows Same how little you know. Deal. Cesaro's fucking gone. He's not resigning with the fucking company, so he's being punished. That's well, why he's well, getting buried. He's not resigning. He's informed them. He's not going to resign. So they're burying him. That's but what they've been burying him for a while. Why do you think he took that po that position? They've had Cesaro. What? Oh my fucking god! For the past boys, four boys, months, boys. He's gone pull your pants down, down if you're going to do Hold this. Hold on, Jesse. Hold on, Jesse. For the past four months, five months, he's gone from the fucking United States Championship title picture to the Intercontinental title picture. Jesus fucking Christ, man. He's been in title pictures. What the fuck is? This? And he's, he's been reduced to to three move robot. I mean, shit, Dave, you watch NXT, you know when these guys have skill and they get into the WWE and they're reduced to this retard of their former self. I agree yeah. with you there. I agree with you there. I, I can't I can't fucking say that's not true what, because we talk about that all the time. When when he was on fire, why did they why did they screw him? Like that's what I mean. They gave him Paul Heyman and turned him into dog piss. I mean yeah. with that horrible I, that ambulance music. Yeah, that, that was confusing. yeah, that was terrible. He was, I think, Joe, you you said, why did they even put him with Heyman in the first place? I was and angry it, like, right from the start. It. I was angry from that right from the start. And uh, yeah. I think uh, Tosovich disagreed with me at the time, but I, I, he just went one way, I went the other. I said, I don't understand this. It makes no sense. He was on fire, and now this makes no fucking sense. Just and, knew it wasn't going to work. Right. It, it, it just it, didn't make sense. It didn't, yeah. If I was in the back and someone was like, let's put Cesaro with Paul Heyman, no matter what they said about it, I would have said, this don't make fucking sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, look, I, I don't know. Maybe there's just something in my brain. I can't fucking sit here and think that they're like, okay, Cesaro's getting really over. Let's fucking, because he was before they put him with Heyman. You know what we do? Let's just squash his momentum. I can't see them deciding not to build a star. I think they're Roman thinking Reigns. they're doing the right thing, and it doesn't fucking work sometimes. I mean, that's what well, that it means. That means they're incompetent, Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Now Dave, we're getting on the right track. And, Dave, you should do stand-up comedy because you're fucking hilarious. <laughs> the moment this net, like, if anybody thinks this network was a positive thing, it wasn't. It really they wasn't. are scrambling. I don't, I, I don't they are scrambling. They're it is slightly up. like WCW days because they're losing money, and they are irrelevant. Well, see, here's the thing. Irrelevant. Here's here's the thing, though. It's not like WCW because they don't have anyone putting them out of business. That's that's so, very true. Put themselves and, out of business. And, and, and 
they might be losing money compared to where their stock was uh, selling, you know, six, seven, eight months ago when it was in the 30s. But two years ago, it was selling at nine to ten dollars. They're not really losing money. They're still above where they were, and yeah, they're still selling a ton pathetic. of merchandise. I'm not going to kill them for that. I love the network, so that's the my that's my furthest from. No, the I'm just saying that like they they should feel a little pressure to be changing it up a bit because they're fucking eye pay per views. That's all they are. The, the network should be a about. lot more than what it is. The network can be a lot more, and I think it, eventually it will be as long as. It's I have nothing right. against the network. I'm just saying that their company isn't worth even putting up one pay per view, let alone twelve a year. Look at that's that! Look saying, at that you know? stupid shadow behind Seamus. But in the photo, oh my god, in the survivors. Oh, it's well, it's Ryback, the guy we've been building for four weeks. <laughs> oh my god, you guys the, where's our network chant? The only right, the only, oh, and, uh, and, and, and the in only England, people yeah. that were that were surprised and excited about Ryback coming out were the fucking uh, with the little kids, you know, and they want to chant, feed me more, yeah, exactly. Well, because they, they were like, it's Ryback, no! like, it just, nobody else cared. Who cares? I'll only eat it if it's protein. You know, it is a rare thing, though, to see a guy who has, you know, ultimately failed eventually, uh, first time in the main event card to get a, another push like this. At, what did I fail? Like level. You know, right back. They buried him too early. I mean, they did. I felt they, well, turning him heel the way they did was a fucking mistake to Who begin buried right? Wait a minute. Who buried who? This is no, a conversation yeah. they had like two years ago. Somebody thinks somebody buried who? No, I, I I think that they pulled the plug on Ryback far too early. The first oh my time. god, yeah. Ryback was god awful. They didn't well, he didn't they didn't well, bury they Ryback. They turned him heel he because he sucked. With the audience, because he though, sucked. Exactly. They didn't get buried. He sucked. Put me on top of a hell and The game. audience he buried him. Yeah, they, they he said had this his is... feed me more gimmick at that point, and he wasn't getting traction with the audience. And yeah. then they decided to to bring out the bully. Yeah, the bully. He, he which, was getting trash. If which you remember was the Hell in a Cell match where he got fucked over, people wanted that title change. It looked like it was going to happen. They fucked him you over, and the then nuts. I the liked him when he came out. I thought there was so much potential to. Uh, yeah, me too. That's the only to thing Ryan that I Reeves, liked. the Silverback. Yeah. He was funny when he. he you know, my, my potential for him is when he's funny. Uh, that's about it. But he, Skip you Sheffield. want Skip Sheffield? <laughs> the, the, yeah. No, I mean no. The, I, I, yeah, I, I want. I want he him. Yup, 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 yup. I want him in the yeah. back. I want him in the background, beating up little guys and pieing him in the face. Oh, well, I love when he gets the Goldberg chant. I laugh so hard when that happens. That, I mean, I'm so I, sick of that. That's just come <laughs> on. Let's, let's move on, people. Well, I think. See, that's what I think has happened, though. I, I think that we gave him the Ryback for a while. Oh, he stuck around, and that, and then he was funny when he did that other stuff. But also, then he gets injured, and he, everyone feels bad for him because he's in the hospital, and he's getting the sympathy now. Like he went through all that stuff to come back from the injury. That's why people are cheering for him now. It's not because you know what I mean. That that's what it is. He's kind of in, been through the the initiation my problem is i don't care for him in the ring so i'll never really like him he's a big rock i don't like that i, I get what you're saying on that front but i feel since he's come back that his ring work has improved drastically all i so think I is, improved, uh, yes. yeah i mean all his ring work has done to me is he, he didn't he doesn't fuck up every second it's still boring though yeah i don't think he's anywhere near as green as he once was i i like what i like what's happening with ryback i like but his, his moves stuff. are fairly mediocre it's not like he does anything spectacular he, so he, even though he's got right. the strength it's just it's ho-hum it's not really he's, anything he to, has less going on than john cena and that's bad for me but at least he's not botching as much that's what that I, guy can really hurt people yeah well i mean hey oh good at least he at, le at least he's doing the moves the right way he's a pro wrestler in the wwe Rather than kicking I'm someone in the head and um, ending their career, yeah, well, that's a good point. <laughs> for the week. Just don't Let's hurt me, Ryback. I, I don't Just think don't Ryback Ryback's Ryback spine would blow in half if he got his leg as high as Goldberg did in that move. <laughs> <laughs> I would rip everything. I just uh, don't. I, I, see, I like the person Ryback. I, I like the actual man. I think um, I can tell that I like him in real life, um, but the. Pro one. Well, the problem is I don't think I don't like the I don't like him as a wrestler. He's he's, it's just nothing. He comes out. Why don't, I don't you get in the ring with me, Cronin? Yeah, I will kick him in the balls. His eyes will go more cross-eyed. Uh, I don't think I just I'm not excited at all by it. So, whoa, well, big whoop! And Rowan Rowan comes out. Rowan, the worst fucking wrestler of the bunch who can't wrestle, who's been sort of kind of bizarre, and now all of a sudden he's in the limelight because of this. That was audible. I like the stalker. I wanted to see him, you know, get get what he what he wanted. I like yeah. him just going around being a creepo like he's been and see what happens yeah, from it. Yeah. But now he's. I want that cat. Why not yeah. get Renee Young in on that shit? I thought that was a good idea. He should have smelled I... Renee Young's pussy. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah, like just sniffed her, just sniffed her, like fucking all the way up and down, like 
Yeah. No, I'm talking about her cat. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a Steve Martin Bobby! joke. But they haven't really even given Rowan a much much time as it is to develop his character or even speak on camera. So when he speaks right now, it sounds awkward and undeveloped. Yeah. yeah it, it, it is weird, but I mean, like I said, I think it's an audible. I think they freaked out because Sheamus got hurt during that World's Strongest Slam, possibly. Or maybe he was hurt before, but he worked a match with Big Show, so who knows? Why is he pointing at his brother and stuff too? I mean, like, I mean, like this whole thing is like, what happened? Like, what are we doing? They're setting him up for Daniel Bryan for a uh, barnyard brawl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You know, it'd be great in a barnyard brawl in the middle of it if they were like running around and they burst through a wall and the cows are all in there and then he, <laughs> he dragged them underneath the cow and he started milking the cow on his face. <laughs> 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 okay, that's the most random thing I've heard you say oh. on this show. That's I don't even think that. that's PG. That was uh, he, random as fuck. What if they just start milking the cow on his face? And he just yeah, and he just started saying, you know, how's the milk, or you know, how's the milk taste, or <laughs> or no, no, if he just yelled out loud, it's not pasteurized. <laughs> <laughs> Continue Unclean. to kick his ass. Oh, um, I just want to say one quick thing for all the listeners right now. Do yourselves a favor. Go on to Google and type in WWE Lana nude. CJ Perry is her real name, and trust me, it's worth the look. Oh. But now, uh, yeah. I'm doing it now. Man, and then play her voice, like, like play her voice backwards and masturbate. <laughs> well, Speaking of titties, like... <laughs> what about Diva's, uh, Diva's match tonight? Uh, yeah, there's a reason why I avoided <laughs> that. Divas don't have titties nowadays. Ugh, the only no. one really is uh, Nikki there. Yeah, well, and those are bought and paid for. So Thank you, Nikki. Uh, here's something I want to. If you're I sick of, if you're sick of the Goldberg chance, are you also sick of the uh, the CM Punk chance when AJ comes uh, out. Yes, so I am actually. Shit. So I'm not sick of that. I am. I'm so sick of that. I'm I'm sick of it now because um, the more CM Punk's been gone, the more I've kind of been like, I'm just don't. He doesn't want to be here. No. Yeah. So. But the, here's the you want to know why people are chanting CM Punk and you want to know why like you said they chant for Daniel Bryan so much and all that other things. First of all, we genuinely genuinely liked Daniel Bryan and he was a story and people did write letters to get him hired again and people do like him. But here's the problem is I've said this before, I think I said this last year. The WWE is so bad right now that um the fans they do these chants and they and they want to pump someone up and then eventually when that person gets there then it goes back to kind of boring again because really that we're just so bored that we're doing all these stupid things as fans we're trolling the wwe because oh yeah we're zach Forster. Ryder is the ultimate troll i mean what they did with zach Ryder. I yeah mean, well, prime example well he was actually gonna be the dex daniel bryan and wwe killed him on purpose yeah yeah off the cliff yeah, start, start off a wheelchair, going. off a cane, and that stupid <laughs> bitch Eve or whatever. Watch your you Riley Coyote routine. They gave him the U.S. title, and then the crowd just fucking went dead for him. They they stopped getting behind. No, him. I don't so agree with that. A, oh yeah, they did. Oh god, they, they killed yeah, him on Raw true. with Eve with that stupid storyline with the love thing with fucking Kane. That's what killed him. He was on it fire. Was, it, it was it was going that way before it though. It was the, the, it was trending downward. And I don't. Saw, I, 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 I clearly remember him being killed by that and being enraged by it and seeing what they were doing and being and like. Yeah, he is still maintained a big audience on YouTube with his with his show before WWE stole that as well. Yeah, and now he can't do it or whatever the hell. So, no, they, they killed him. They chopped his nuts off. There's plenty of footage of that. If you go back and watch that whole thing in in order, you'll. I don't care what what anybody says. They clipped his balls because I made I raged about that. I was mad that the fans wanted Zack Ryder and the WWE slowly made him stupid. Yeah, it was incredible how they did it too. It was unbelievable. They put him with Eve. The people just felt nothing. She was terrible at acting. It was all terrible. Then Kane comes in and just bleh. it was they all. They had him in there horrible. with Cena. So let's not forget that Cena. Was part they, of that well, yeah, thing. yeah. Cena came. Hey, hey, I'll take some of your fucking crowd. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what he does. And then he, he, same he, thing with Ambrose. If you want to kill something, just put Cena with him. I mean, that's about it. You, you put Cena, Cena with it. Nice. And everyone... You guys remember when uh, um, CM Punk, um, uh, Daniel Bryan, and uh, Zack Ryder were all in the ring and all had uh, titles? That was a cool moment. That was like <laughs> right after it happened, too. Yeah. 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 It was like the night after. That was the last cool thing I remember about being fucking with Zack Ryder. I mean, it really was. Yeah. It seemed like from that moment it went downhill. Hey, Joe, you got any numbers popping up that you don't, you've never taken before or that you don't rececognize? Uh, not right now. I, I did a minute ago, but now I just, uh, I've just i been looking all over the place. But yeah, numbers have been calling. Why? Tommy, get get, get on that shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hang up on him. No, yeah. that was just hilarious. You could see like the military in him just like, all right, asshole, your time's up. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude, you got five minutes. Do it. Well, Ty Ty Tyson Kidd won a match tonight. It was amazing. Uh, his wife. He's, he's been winning quite a few matches lately, and yeah. he had a hell of a And nobody's noticed. And, you know, we, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we know that he's uh, had some trouble with his, uh, you know, his wife. Yeah, with his wifey. Total divas. Be sure to check I watch the show every night. I got a DVR. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> no, it's Michael, goddammit. Did you just, turn into one of, you just turn into one of the Muppets? <laughs> he sounds like <laughs> Beaker there, yeah. <laughs> Big Show versus Sheamus. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah, that, yeah you know what? Well, that, that was weird. We're like, uh, and you guys, you could fight for a title shot. What? Yeah. That was weird. That was that weird. Was... Uh, I... And AJ Lee won. Yay. You, and, and if I swear to God to you, if I hear, ooh, so crazy one more time, oh, I'm, I'm going to stab someone's throat. <laughs> Fuck. Have, have you heard about this new AJ rumor that's going around? I mean, it's the same AJ rumor that we hear every few months. But oh, the one that she know, was in porn? Seed. Hold on. I have the clip from her being in porn. Here it is. Here it is, everybody. Here's the clip of uh, AJ in the porno. This is the one that everyone's talking about. Uh, that's not what that's the one that everybody's talking about right there. That is the one. Is that AJ Lee? Is that AJ Lee? We don't know. We don't uh, know if that's her. No, that's not her. I don't even know about that story. I was talking about her retiring. Oh, well, that's going around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, she's going to retire and do some porn. <laughs> but hold on. So CM Punk's if, if brother. Big, if the big show's got a title <laughs> shot now... Is he also going to compete in the tag uh, in the tag team? So is it going to be two matches with Big Show at? Uh... No, he's not getting. They never said it was going to be at Survivor Series. They just said it, gonna you'll get a future right. title shot. That's what made it so weird. Yeah. Nice. Considering we don't even have a title on the and, show. And when the authority is canceled this Sunday, which we know is going to happen, because Cena was out there acting like the usual dick that he is. <laughs> fucking. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> usually, usually the other team would win after uh, something wait, wait, like wait, wait, this. Wait, why are we talking about this? I just saw AJ on the fucking screen. Now I got a question. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> AJ Brooks. <laughs> no, what? AJ Brooks. AJ Brooks. Well, she's gone by. It doesn't mean she got it. No, no, I, I want to know if there's fucking video. What? Why is she looking like she's getting hurt? I mean, she dated Jay Lethal before. Because that's the fucking me? selling point. <laughs> that she's getting you guys, hurt. You guys need to be careful. She's got a body of a 13 year old boy. You might go to jail. Be careful. <laughs> no, no. I just want to see if I if, if there's video. I want to see if her voice matches up. I'm really good with that shit. I bet you are. Her phone got hacked. Uh, they, uh, yeah, there, there goes Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, goes, you're a forensic oh, scientist, man. and we didn't fucking know it. There goes Jesse for the support, rest of the night. Yeah? He'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, none of you fuckheads realized Joe was doing Scott Farrell, but as soon as I heard it, I said, "Is that you?" <laughs> so far, I, I, no, I, I feel that right now. Well, I, I knew it's it really Scott Farrell. Oh, Jesus Christ, he really went off on you. I have no <laughs> doubt in my mind. I was the first thing I was like, I was like, Joe. Right, Did you guys hear Cena tonight? He got on the ring. He got on the apron. You know, uh, he, he was just killing it on the, the microphone. Kids, you know? He was killing it on the microphone. He was on Fuego. He was just going berserk. <laughs> on everybody in the crowd. He, he made fun of that fat guy with the beer. He spilled it on his feet. He looked like a complete jackass. Cena was on fire. It's just, uh, what do yeah. you like about that guy? Because it sounds like he's a fucking, like, really annoying from the way, like, well, I'll tell you, I put, talks, you know? I, I, I bet on the spread for the Rams, and the Patriots are going up against the Colts this week. That's going to be a pretty close matchup. New England, uh, I don't know how I feel about them uh, playing away from Gillette, though. Yeah, yeah he just, uh, I don't know, I, I've uh, listened to him for a while. Uh, I listened to him when I was younger and didn't know it was him, and then I heard him one night, and I said to Tommy, you know, who is this guy? I've been listening to him when I'm going home from hockey, and he's I actually enjoy it. And Tommy was like, "Oh, it's gonna be Scott Farrell," and uh, so that's when I made that video, and I didn't know he was gonna get <laughs> attacked on Twitter. Love. Has anybody gotten him yet? Oh, he got a, he got attacked on Twitter. He he uh, <laughs> he he finally he unblocked me actually, and we talked. Oh, to you sent him an edible <laughs> arrangement. <laughs> yeah, we made an arrangement. I would come suck his dick, and uh, he would forget about it. Hey, come on, pal. Don't worry about it. You know, water into the bridge. Get down there. Oh, you're doing it right. This is amazing. You must be from Boston. Oh, can we get married? Now, I've got a serious question for all you guys. Yeah. Do you guys think that the go home show is done and over with? Like that there's really that we can't really expect what we used to get where it was like had us hyped and salivating the whole week through. Is that done and over with? 
because tonight was just yeah. another example of a total letdown before a supposed pay per view. I know that they're, they're, nobody's going to be paying for this one, at least you know using the network. But uh, with all the other ones, it's been a total letdown. So I'm honestly thinking, are we just going to expect like shitty go home uh, shows from now on? <clears throat> yeah, I mean uh, that's that's what yes. we all uh, yeah everyone talked about that. Um, when the network was being announced, like, oh shit, you know, we they can just do whatever they want. But I'll tell you, I was that, this was embarrassing to me tonight because I got sucked in a little bit, thinking something was going to happen, and the Ryback came on. I just wanted to cry on myself. Uh, Six one four. Uh, what's up, man? It's Jerry. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, man. By the way, this dude's talking that nice shit to you in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what dude? Uh, give me head twenty three. Oh, uh, his name is Give Me Head. He wants head from a guy, probably. Yeah. Mm. I was going to say, uh, Raw was crazy tonight. I'll give him AIDS. Yeah? He said Sean Cruz is better than you. So. Yeah, well, Fuck he's him. a fag. <laughs> no, I thought at the moment when uh, everybody seen John Cena talking to Ryback, I thought John Cena was going to give him a little blowjob, try and get him on his team. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, please, be on my team. <laughs> Never face to face. Never face to face. Nothing face to face. Nothing yeah. face to face. Never anything face to face. Why don't we do it, Hogan? Why don't we do it for the kids? You know, if we yeah. do it for charity, <laughs> we'll have a real fight. But no, uh, you know, he wants to. He, he throws a pop at me on the radio, on the TV. But never anything face to face. Nothing face to face. Oh man, that was great. Were yeah. you in a crowded bar? That the cat was gonna freak out and fucking claw someone. I, eyes I was hoping the cat would die on the air. It I mean, looked I, like she yeah, did a couple I was times. too. I, I asked my wife. I was like, "Who the hell is this lazy cat?" She's like, "You haven't seen us." Isn't it funny? Lazy. We all yeah, asked our wives. Idiot. We all asked our wives. I asked Leah. I go, "What the fuck is this thing?" She's like, "You never heard it." I'm like, "I don't fucking know what this is." You haven't been bombarded with those. You're fucking not memes. excited oh for God. the movie. And then they were going to have layers oh of cable guy next week. Really. You know what? Yeah. They should have had Larry the Cable Guy tonight, and you should have fucked the cat. They should have had yeah. Larry the Cable Guy in 1999 when he was still fucking relevant. While like, wearing a penis. He's going to get it done, all right. I've John Cena go after one of them retard kids, I'll take. <laughs> no, should, uh, Rowan should have skinned the cat live on TV. We're gonna <laughs> I mean, I have cats myself, but really? You fucking going to have a dumbass cat on there? Yeah, what I mean, I, I don't trust cats anyway, so. You have a shit box? Huh? It's not a real cat, then. Uh, yeah, I have actually like three cats, but they're cool though. Are any of them angry? Huh? <laughs> Are any of your cats angry? Oh no, 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 no! Sorry, my phone was cut you. out. Well, Joe, well, Joe, we brought Joe Latimer back in for a there second call. That's a no, no. Oh, it's, it, it's about time. Yeah, it is about time. Francis, was this yeah. fucking raw good or did it suck? Because I know the answer, but I, you know, just thought I'd. You didn't watch it. It was no, but I don't need to awesome. watch it, dude. I fucking, I told you. Yeah, just on a fucking pattern. Yeah, let's, it, let's just walk in the line with this. You know, everyone saying it sucks. Let me, let me get my point in right now. Let me get my point in right now. You want to know what the fucking thing I wanted to say was? Sound drunk as shit. We're, yeah, we're, you, you goddamn right. I'm fucking ten beers in, but that's besides the point. No wonder you like but, this shit. But where, <laughs> where, where do they go with Rusev? Never been pinned or tapped out before. Yeah. <clears throat> you go to well, war with he's in it's the easy. survivor. It's easy. He can run he in the back. Out. <laughs> he, he's he, he's going to get counted, counted out. out. Counted out. You're, counted you're out. You're going to go. <clears throat> yep. If if that happens, I'm turning off the fucking TV and I'm going to bed. So they're not going to pin him. Hey, whoever does pin well, him will be the next You might as well just go to sleep and not watch. He's going to. I just left that a minute ago. He's in the survivor, man. It's like the SummerSlam. <laughs> the Summer Slam. You know they're probably gonna fight out into the crowd until they're both that's counted what, out. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, dude, him and Rowan. Are you are you really gonna are you gonna let that happen? Just <laughs> <laughs> fucking like four Zemas to the wind, or, man. Hey, let, Zemas. Tell us your thoughts on uh, tell us your thoughts on George Bush and uh, Obama. Uh, <laughs> Fuck them both. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> they still sell black. I will do whatever I must. For the tariff. Michael Jackson, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Joe. Oh, man. We could just do a whole show on how he's drunk. Oh, he is. He had one of my cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that. 
don't know what that was. That was like James Brown. Hail, to, hail son, he's had a little too much. Can anyone tell me if this rag smells like chloroform? <laughs> <laughs> you, do, do anybody have the feeling that like someone could turn on, t- you know, like Rowan? I thought, you know, a Ryback or somebody. I, it, it could happen, but I mean. I mean, I here's the other weird. The weird thing about tonight is the way Cena's team went out on top tonight, ending the show. Yeah. Usually the team, when something like this happens, that team loses. Usually. Usually. And all signs would point to, to the authority losing, but I don't know. You've all, right. real, you've all failed to realize the power of Willow. <laughs> it's Willow, he's here. Willow. Um, Willow no. versus Chris Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> Batista shows up and spears fucking uh, Rowan. That guy will never come back. He's fucking, he just fucking nailed his career now. He, he, he had a, good, a lot of good luck with that. Diego Xavier. Yeah, he, he was in the right place at the right time. He Al barely Bob did anything. Man. WWE, muscle, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Any muscled up guy could have played that fucking part, man. It would not have mattered. He in, was very lucky. You, you know why I started laughing a lot about all the reviews about that movie? is because a lot of the people reviewing the movie didn't know who he was. So like, <laughs> the, the, the reviewers would be like, it was amazing. Everyone did a great job acting. I mean, the only one that didn't do the greatest job was that guy who played whatever. But he was still cool. Um, but he, you know, and I just start laughing because I'm like, oh, it's Batista. They totally couldn't act. This Dave Bautista guy. Yeah, the whoever, Batista whoever, guy. He wasn't the greatest Dave actor. Dave Bautista, whoever that guy is. They might have casted a better actor, but he, he he looked the part, though. And I just started laughing like, oh, my God, <laughs> no. Oh, God, just put him in a Fast and Furious movie and call it a day. I finally just yeah, fucking watched that movie, by the way. I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy. You know something? I didn't see it in the movie theater, and I was raving about it for years. Like, I've been waiting, <laughs> and, and somehow I didn't see the goddamn thing, um, which really pained me, but... It's coming out, and I'll see it. I finally saw it, and I dug it, man. It was great. I liked it better than The Avengers. I really did. I oh, yeah. I, I, I'm sure it's better. The Avengers had plot holes up the ass and stupid shit oh, going sure. on. But um, it was entertaining, though. But well, I expect more plot holes in the in the next few uh, Avengers movies. I'm sure. Yeah, based on what we're looking at. I, and the I, stories I, they're going to be telling. I, I'm excited for the X-Men. I want to see uh, Apocalypse, uh, man. Apocalypse, yeah. That, that might the be interesting. X-Men. Yeah, can we get really dorky on Tommy right now? I'm sure. I'm sure Tommy won't see it though, because it's probably about like no, uh, the li- liberals the taking over the yeah, country. Liberals. None of you guys are getting laid with any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy found the fucking loaded gun in Germany right now, and they got it in his fucking working. mouth. I pull the fucking trigger. Let yeah. me get laid with any of this. I'm sure X Men is really political and liberal. Uh, six seven eight, what's up? <laughs> what's up, y'all? It's Rashad Graham from Atlanta, man. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, uh, uh, so, of course. We're all stuck tonight, but I did want to say, Epico took a hell of a good, hell of a lot of good bumps tonight. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. I mean, those guys are great wrestlers. Uh, I I love them actually. P- before they got became the the Los Wegos, um, you know, it was uh, quite a <laughs> it was quite a thing. I was like, I want to see these two guys vie for the titles, you know. And then I was pissed off when they got Epico and Primo. when Rock they got put into Tachis. this. <laughs> My kid runs around with the bull, like the WWE tops card with of the bull. And it's like, oh, they did their I mean, job. The fucking kids, it's the fucking kids. Yep. Oh, yeah. Those guys can go. Be no bull if you had, uh, attitude era. What about tonight? Oh, so the other thing that kind of it kind of got me excited tonight because if y'all noticed when Cesaro came out for his match, they gave him the the, the shitty entrance. I mean, he didn't really have no entrance. So when when he came out at the end of the night, I was like, okay, no right back Cesaro, and at least they're giving him a decent entrance. But um, I was listening wait, to wait, you earlier that yeah, Cesaro's not doing his contract, but they, they ain't got a shit on him like this. How was this an interesting entrance? He came out to the same music. <laughs> It was like, no, oh, this song. Well, they, they gave they him were, the, uh, the, the com- commercial entry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got you. <clears throat> hey, Tommy. Yeah. I think it was funny that you posted the Walking Dead ratings uh, beat football. You're, you're surprised that a TV show with brains beat a fucking sport of idiots running into each other? Yeah, it doesn't have brains. This show's not that good. But, I mean, football sucks, man. I mean, dead, I'm, I just listen to Dead on Dave. I don't know. I don't I'll think – I don't, I, I don't think um, – <laughs> 
I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I mean, it's, admittingly, it's a, it's it's a tough show to beat. I'm not going to say it's that, but I mean, Jesus Christ! For when I was a kid, nothing beat football, and now it does. That's not a coincidence. Really? When when I was now, a between kid, between that and Sons of Anarchy, football ain't got a chance. And yeah. this show's even more relevant. Yeah, yeah fo- like football fucking... suffering. They're, 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 they're pinching their pennies. Yeah, they're, they're they're really really but I think they're 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 it was. It's it's not that there'll always be a football, but it will it be? I mean, baseball. When I was all be a NASCAR too. They're all fucking you know, rushed football. And football ended up taking over. So maybe, you know, maybe football can take back seats to some other sport. It's not it's not impossible to believe. I've seen it happen in my lifetime. That's the hashtag first. Yeah. Hashtag. How about them Rams? Suck it the way it is. Yeah, I Graham, I love you. Um, no, I don't I don't know. I I don't think anything's changed. The whole country, the fucking football industry makes more money than fucking anything. I mean, I don't know. No, 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 no. It's no. recently made major rule changes. I mean, all these records are going to be shattered that, like, Joe Montana had and whatever. And everybody's going to say, like, you know what? These guys are a bunch of pussies because the <laughs> and no one's going to care. Dave's right. I, I think that the product is going to continue to suffer to where it's going to alienate fans. It alienated me, and it alienated me a hell of a lot long, uh, quicker than I thought. I it think was your team alienated you. No, no, no it, because uh, years past, no, I've suffered through some. Wait a second, I've suffered through some really terrible Bears teams. Yeah, he's a fucking Cubs fan. Give me a break. And I, yeah, and I was still no, able to watch kidding. the the My Cubs God. suck, and I could watch the rest of baseball. Hey, you know, I know. I, I mean, hey, I was watching the Red Sox. The same thing. It's that was just a joke. I mean, I watched the. What Patriots. happened, Tommy? Did somebody rape your team? Jesus, you were mad. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't even like football. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, I, I wouldn't like football it's a either. Cubs fan, motherfucker. I'm surprised you don't like football team, uh, Tommy. You got uh, three teams to choose from. But <laughs> that fucking state that has 70 right. teams just just picked the winner at the time. You know what's really funny? I don't like football, and my grandparents grew up with George Young, the former general manager of the New York Giants, and I met all the Giants, and I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I met I, everybody but Lawrence Taylor. I mean, like the whole team: Phil Simms, Joe Morris, you name it. <laughs> good, good, good loss, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, anyway, we, we got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I got to go kill someone. Um, uh, guys, I want to remind you, thanks for watching. Uh, Raw sucked, I think. Uh, I think pretty much most people said that, except for Dave. Uh, yeah, except me. I'm, I'm insane. He was paid by Vince McMahon today. <laughs> so uh, that's... Let me tell you something, Cronin. McMahon comes to me and says, fucking talk up. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm sorry. Yeah, Fuck. yeah I'll, I'll do it, but I want a cock in my mouth first. Feed me s'mores. <laughs> Vince, you put me in a match against uh, your son-in-law there. I'll chop his nose off. I'll say whatever you want. Um, guys, make sure Spectrum Gaming 617 follow me on Twitch. Of course, I'm going to have WWE 2K15. I'll be playing. You want to see that? You want to be a part of it? My rants while I'm playing. All that shit you can play with me like a, like a playboy. So make sure you follow me on Twitch.tv slash Spectrum Gaming 617 or look me up Spectrum Gaming 617 on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. Make sure you do it. Also, follow us, uh, follow me and everybody else here. YouTube.com slash Joe Cronin Show. On YouTube, almost at 11,000 subscribers. Help me get there. And, of course, right here on Spectrum Gaming 617 for live shows uh, for the next six months. Apparently, JD from New York got hit with the, the freaking ban, too. So he's got six months. Everyone's getting fucked. And, uh, and, if, uh, and, if, and if Fuckhead in the comments wants to bring up uh, Schlong's view one more time, you probably are Schlong's view, you little pussy. You probably go into my comments and fucking comment about yourself. Don't you, you fuck? Well, oh, in the comments. You want to see right. I don't know, it's gonna get back to him. Oh, it's gonna get back to him. I don't give a fuck what gets you know, back to him. Because I heard the guy doesn't work for a living. I, how much you want to bet that Schlong's is cheating the government saying it just he has a He's dis- got seizures. How can he, you know? <laughs> yeah. He's got an ironclad contract. I didn't, I, I didn't know a fucking re- I didn't know retards get, could get fucking money from the government. Yeah. Oh, I got kicked in the head. I got kicked in the head by my mother. Well, Goldberg He's kicked me in the head. Goldberg He's kicked me in the head. He's a cam girl. He shows his cock on the internet. Here's my dick. Um, so yeah, I don't need a- you can go kiss my ass, you know, what kind of loser are you, you little fuck bag? Um, anyway, so go give some love to JD from New York, uh, 206, or JD, uh, whatever the fuck, his, his name always confuses me, but he's JD from New York, and he's awesome. Uh, my gig. <laughs> and he'll suck my dick, and make sure you follow, follow Tommy C, uh, shot from the point on YouTube, go subscribe to him over 600 subs for him as he just continuously releases relentless, amazing fucking NHL clips and then has a badass hockey show every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time that you can't fucking miss because I'll be listening and sometimes I call in and uh, this show's got me in stitches every week. It's fucking like a monetize this too. So yeah. go listen to that shit, right Tommy? You got it. It's really fun. Yeah, I said everything. You don't even need to. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shot from the point. Uh, Dave Rose is on there, and uh, Dave Van Cura is too. Dave, what's your YouTube? The Dead on Dave on YouTube. That's right, the Dead on Dave. 126 subs as wow. of today. Thank you, everybody. And what are you doing over there? You're like counseling people now, and you're like going to have people come on, and you're going to be a psychologist, <laughs> and they're going to cry, and you're going to tell them you're going to tell them they're good mother. enough. <laughs> I got a new show called Creators Corner. Anybody who wants to uh, show what they do, show what they create, you can come on this show. Music, movies, fucking books, poetry. I don't oh, give God. a shit. Artwork. Well, that's it. Dave took all our female audience. Yeah. <laughs> all three of them. Yeah, all three. Oh, my God. You fucking... I, 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 what, what is your female audience? Because mine is... Terry. Two. Yeah, mine's Terry. I got, I got one. No, that... Hi, she, Terry. She, she, she doesn't count because she'll think you're a pussy for what you were talking about. But I uh, no, I actually like the idea that you. <laughs> I actually like the. I, I I really did like the idea you came up with. I thought it was cool. Uh, I was like, oh, that's a that's a pretty Wait. good idea. Uh, Dave, did you actually show say, and like, tell? I don't care if you make bologna, uh, Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin out of bologna. I want to no, see that macaroni. shit. No macaroni. You can oh. make Stone Cold Steve Austin fucking vinaigrette uh, out of macaroni. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna make a dildo and come on your show. You, you you already create plenty of shit. You can come on and talk about this shit. That's a good point. Exactly. That's what I told him. I was like, you should have Joe on there. No, he seriously though. Creates. If anybody out there, if anybody out there has a talent uh, in not masturbating, by the way, um, or or no, masturbating can be a skill. Like if you've painted a picture, if you paint, if you draw, um, you know, if you fucking can sing, I don't know, whatever. If you whatever you can do, apparently Dave will showcase it on his channel. On uh, the Dead on Dave on YouTube, and you guys can cry about how your stepdad used to hit you, but you drew these these drawings when you were in your alone time. <laughs> and, uh, no, no, that, that's not what we're doing. No, that that's that's not what's happening at all. <laughs> that's the case. I want to be on the show. Don't make me fist you, Cronin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be. I can miss that show. We're, we're not we're not doing couch time with Dead on Dave. That's well, you watch thing. what it turns into. Oh, but yeah, if we you were, might be right. I, I may regret this whole fucking adventure. I, I really right? started a show called. Why are you guys shitting on it? I think it's a fucking great idea. I don't see what the big deal is. I because it's me. I'm a fucking human. I, I know that you two came up with it, so I know where the, where what's where it spawned from. By the way, yeah, America's Got Talent. No, I liked. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> that's I'm, about how original I am. America has emotional issues. No, I think uh, <laughs> I, I, I think it's gonna be good. I'm actually, I really was like, oh man, that's a good idea. Like good Leo was kind of like, that's gay, but I, I was like, no, this is a good <laughs> idea. No, I, I really, because at first I was like, this is weird, but then I was like, wait, a minute, this is a great idea. Like you great could really, idea. and and then it could build up. You could get lots of subs from it. And and if you continue to do it and spread the word more, think about it. And then pe more people and people like who who were like never came out that they could do these things or had a talent or whatever or had something yeah, no they did. Shit. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And then all of a sudden it spawns, and then you could get like on ABC or like a news station would pick it up. Like he's on YouTube and he's helping. And, and I I could just see that I could totally see that spiraling into awesome. Twenty with Barbara that's, Walters. That's we have David Van Kira here. But until that day, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> To call you a homo. Uh, all right, guys. Good night. Thanks for being here. Click the like button. The Dead on Dave on YouTube if you want to show off your dick. Uh, Tommy C. Sh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shop the point, all right. What the first episode, Sean's view. Oh, What's my God. I can't fucking deal with it. Good night. Good night. Leave it in the comments. I think it was a kid audience tonight. No, they didn't like seeing either. I guess. Gosh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like some of the matches that took place. I like the 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 little bit of the Kid Rose match that we got. I like Adam Rose's continued descent to heal them. I like that. Uh, the Grumpy Cat shit was terrible. Oh, I absolutely love the bunny humping. I was I couldn't the believe the bunny that. humping was great. <laughs> when he humped, oh my god, I lost it. I mean, that's that's how they get me, guys. That's the humor I'm in. It's Jordan Smoggle. Hey, look at him. <laughs> it's just nature. And then, and then Lana about put me in a coma when she, you know, teased a, a naked photo. I swear to God, I'd wear her like Bane's mask and Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. I would hey, love uh, Simmons would have had a good time with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my dick. That's my dick. <laughs> I, I Lana! Like... <laughs> Lana! Then you forgot to sit on my face. Lana, show me your pussy. <laughs> oh man, I'd like to see Rusev just rape somebody. No, no, but seriously, like, tonight wasn't. <laughs> tonight was just. No, I didn't. I wasn't feeling it, and it was. I was like, the only thing that would save this is someone cool coming back. Can you imagine what they would like? I, if I was the WWE, I would have been like, let's bring Sting back tonight. Oh, we'll oh, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll make it seem is Skinner like Skinner's still alive. 
<laughs> yeah, he's Luke, he's Hopper. Luke Harper. Yeah. Um, no, no, yeah, there you go. no, we'll make, think about this, right? They make Cena look like this underdog, you know, he's standing there by himself. Dolph Ziggler comes out maybe. Um, and that's it. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you know, you know, they're either he's getting his ass kicked by all of them or something like that. Even maybe Ryback comes out. I don't know. But then, you know, the it's still, it's still six on three or whatever it was or seven on three or whatever. Yeah. Then bam, the lights went out. It would have been unbelievable. And you had everyone watching the network who maybe never watched it because it's free. Turning on their Xbox, downloading the app, getting people involved because holy shit, and yeah, people who yeah. haven't watched in a while or that that older demographic. If these fucking motherfuckers were smart, they would have given us more than what we wanted, and then so like this month only, and then fucked us over, just like usual next month. Do they really think anyone's gonna be interested in this or give two shits? Or even, you know what I mean? This yeah. is embarrassing. And I didn't even I watch, know, by the know, way. A lot of the social media trends, I got to be honest, a lot of people are, are kind of up on this stuff that's been happening in the last few weeks because they've been focusing on younger talent and things are trending in an upward manner. I mean, I'm kind of with them. I, I'm, I'm kind of liking where it's going. I like the New Day promos. I like the fact that we're getting a new faction. Even Big E had a nice little promo tonight. There's a lot of good things that came out of Raw. And I think that we're – is look, is Survivor Series going to be great? No, I think there's like – Oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? What'd you think of Raw? Well, I'm sure you're gonna tell me, and I'm gonna tell you, and we're gonna get we're gonna get naked right now. And I gotta get my Skype started so we can get all every, all the co-hosts in here, and we can get going. We can take your phone calls about Raw. Let's do this. Ryback sucks. What do you think? Here we go. Everybody, welcome to the Raw Review. What's up, Tommy C? I barely hear you. What's happening? Hey, what's going on? And uh, Dave Van Cure is here as well, I believe. Dave, what's up? Feed me whores. Is that <laughs> how it goes? That's not Feed how it goes. me boring. <laughs> uh, can we assume that Sheamus is really hurt since Rowan, for some reason, was out there? It looks like it. It looks like it. Are you in a like a bathroom or something? Yeah, no. it's wrong, dude. No, I don't. No, I'm your not. Mike fucked. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You sound like you're New going audio to device found. Skype has found a microphone. Uh, don't use for Skype. Okay, hold on. Is there this... you go. There you go. Is, is yeah, it... I knew. I knew to do that with mine before I started. Oh, my bad. Ass. Well, Leah's been playing. <laughs> Leah's been playing a lot of World of Warcraft on here, so microphone stuff has been going back and forth. So, but hey, uh -huh. as long as everybody can hear me, we're good. No, but so. Uh, you know, I never saw Rowan, I never saw Harper, like, get in a fight with Rowan, or I never saw them have any quarrels, so, randomly, Rowan's, like, uh, did I miss something there, or is it just, it's gotta be Seamus is injured? I guess so, last week he was, like, a rapist, and now he's on Team Cena, I don't know what's going on, it's, it's Perfect. strange. I mean, he it's, rapes it, Team Cena. it's easy to explain, <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's easy to explain, you know, like, you held me down and I always wanted to be something. I always wanted to be a circus worker, like a carnival. <laughs> uh, but that didn't work out. But I, I don't know. Um, I That was terrible. I, I thought maybe somebody big was going to come back because of the free network thing. And, yeah. you know, Jericho, even The Rock crossed my mind for a second for some reason. Um, the Giant came back from the dead. That oh, that had been great. Bucks. Randy Randy Orton would have made sense. Uh, that's what I, that's what I was anticipating. I didn't want it but to be anybody who's really just been here. Although you could count The Rock, you could count Jericho. I was hoping it would be somebody. It would be interesting. I'll put it that way, and, and it wasn't. Instead, it was just blah. Like if I if if I wasn't getting the network, if put it this way, if I didn't have the network and I was thinking about getting it or I never watched it, but I, I thought I'm gonna watch the pay per view for the first time since it's free. Um, I w I went from at the beginning of that being excited to see what's going to happen here to going, oh, oh, and then not watching it. Yeah, at the very least, 
having Rowan and Harper both in the match on opposite sides, it's something new. It's something different. I can at least find some positives in this. I thought Raw was fairly decent. It started great and it ended fairly well. So I didn't have a problem with that. And I'm, I'm excited to see something new. So, hey, let's put Rowan and Harper in there. Let's see what they got. Fuck it. I don't know if that's new, but I mean, oh. here, here's the thing. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't care. I know people started commenting that they liked it, and I, I do like it, but... I like it. Because it went, it was like, whoa, what's going on? But it's just not what I was looking for, and honestly, that Raw was so terrible that, uh, you know, I thought this... I was hoping that would save it. I hope something crazy would happen and said nothing happened. I didn't hate this Raw. You know, I felt that they, they built on storylines, that they're going somewhere. You never fucking somewhere. do, do you? Well, shit, I was until the last few weeks. You guys are so fucking hard on it. It's like, it's ridiculous. I'm going to be really hard on it. I thought tonight yeah, was... hard on all of you. Uh, no, I, 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 <laughs> I've been giving it sevens mostly and maybe a couple sixes, but I'd give tonight a four. And I really? think I think tonight sucked. The Intercontinental Ooh. title match didn't do nothing for you? I liked... I did... I was shocked by it. I don't know if I liked it. Um, I would have preferred those two to have a match at a pay-per-view and he lose it, but I, I didn't mind him losing it. I, I did think that was kind of cool. I do like Harper so much, so I, I do. Yeah. I did kind of enjoy seeing him hold that title. That was very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's how I felt about it. It was interesting, um, but no. It, but I wasn't like, damn, like here we go. You know, I, my I God, know. he asked you a question. You fucking start switching sides right off the. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> well, because if oh, well, you know, hey. Joe wasn't that bad. Well, yeah, you know, I, I kind of like this. <laughs> no, I mean that was the best thing of the. That was one of the best. I mean, he asked me about the one of the best things of the whole night. It so. was the best oh, part right, of the my, show. All I, mean, I know is Vince McMahon picked the wrong night to fucking yell at the crowd. Tonight was the night. They sucked. <laughs> They're yeah. all horrible. Yeah, the crowd wasn't very good tonight. Oh, the crowd was horrid. It was all kids. Yeah. That's why. You look at four fucking matches. No, it's not going to be fantastic. But it's to get us to the big events. It's to get us to WrestleMania. It's to get us to Royal Rumble. It's to get us to those points. Should it be that way? Of course not. Yeah, you know, but I bet the, the people who paid, the people that paid for the tickets, that's... You know, it's, what you're uh, saying makes no sense, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, it's like saying uh, this album, yeah. it really sucks, but you should listen to it. We, yeah, know what we, we know what we got. I'm not saying it's it's terrible, but I'm saying... It would be great. <laughs> yeah, it, I don't it, know. It, I, I didn't watch, so my, I'm not valid as far as... Oh, oh yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, no, no. I, dude, I, I'm talking... This is the same shit that's been going on for months. If you, look, it's, like, yeah, it's the same on. thing as like when someone doesn't vote and then complains about the government. Shut the fuck up. If you don't watch, Jesus Christ. Well, actually, I do that, but that's because the assholes that run aren't fucking worth it. So I do the same when they elect a Kofi Kingston, I don't give a fuck. fuck. I voted <laughs> once and it didn't count. So if you don't use your voice, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> I used it in 2001 and we elected fucking like psycho. Tell me, uh, a non-vote is also a uh, expression of a polit political. Goddamn uh, right. Yeah. I, I don't buy that. I'll vote when someone fucking running isn't a moron. How about that? <laughs> uh, if if uh, Adolf Hitler's going up against the head of the Ku Klux Klan, I don't know it's if I need to <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. the most ridiculous fucking example. <laughs> Humanly fucking. Well, no. what if an alien... What if an alien and big I wouldn't vote for him. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> no, because if, no, because if one guy's in a room and is like... Well, what do I believe in? I believe that there's an invisible man in the sky and we should stop all this scientific research. And then the other guy goes, I believe we should just give hands out to everybody who doesn't do shit and will lose money and will crash the whole fucking economy. I look at both of those things and go, well, neither one of those sounds like a good idea. <laughs> neither one of those is acceptable. I'm not voting for neither one of these people. How the fuck is not that not understandable? Uh, I'll vote you know, for yeah, just see the body in there, you... You'd I, all be free. You know who I'm gonna vote the next race? I'm gonna ro I'm gonna write in fuck it. That's <laughs> what I'm gonna write in. I'm gonna write <laughs> fuck it At on the fucking poll. No, party. I'm not. I'm not gonna vote though, because I'm not going to jury duty because two assholes uh, weren't fucking likable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you, know, you said something about aliens a minute ago. Uh, I have a question about ET. You ever think he fucked or fingered that little girl? <laughs> <laughs> Drew Barrymore? I don't know. You ever think he fucked that kid? <laughs> Did E.T. sexually molest Drew Barrymore? Hey, dude, he's got a lit up finger. What do you think lit it up? <laughs> Light it up! Chris the soul Jericho! Of a child. Welcome to the Chris Jericho Podcast! Stamps.com! Check out Stamps.com! <laughs> They're a fucking scam, by the way, that place. Don't ever go there. You know, you guys gotta do some mail, and you know, do you ever, do you guys, uh, you know, we wear underwear 90% of the day. 
or of our lives, whatever the fuck. Letterenvelopes.com. You heard of Dollar Shave Club? This is Letter Club. <laughs> For just $1.99, we send you 50 of these letter things. It's fucking insane. It's crazy. We're doing it now on letters.com. Go check it out. Chris Jericho. When we get back, we're not going to talk about wrestling. We're going to wait another seven minutes and seven promos until we get to the guest. Get ready. Hallelujah. Uh, sorry. That's basically what you get, man. With my band. Just, <laughs> just fast forward through the first twenty minutes, and you'll get. My band. Then you'll get. Then you'll get one take. No, then you'll get like you know a good fifteen minutes of talk, a break, fifteen minutes of talk. You'll but, get a very mediocre interview, is what you'll right. get. Right. You'll have a lot of ass sucking. There was a girl. Yeah. On, there was a girl on NBC earlier. I forget who she. Oh, she was interviewing, interviewing Taylor Swift, and um. <laughs> In the interview, Taylor Swift was like, my album, and I, me, me. and then the girl, you know, like, you know, it's, the other girl was just like, oh, you are so good at that, and it was just one big suck face, I just want to <laughs> puke all over myself, she was like, yeah, forget those people, like, and it was like, this is not an interview, this is Taylor Swift saying stupid shit, and this girl looking at pussy while she says it, uh, who wants to watch this, what kind of interview is this? I, I, wa I, I would I would have watched her if she actually liked Taylor Swift's pussy. I would have watched that. I want to hit Taylor Swift in the face with a shovel, but I think somebody did that. She looks kind of like she's been hit yeah. with a shovel. Uh, her and Alvaro Levine, I think it would catch fire in front of <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get back well, to we're wrestling. We're off and rolling, aren't we? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was so good. Well, the rest, yeah, the wrestling was terrible tonight, but uh, let's get back to the bunny humping I thought was great because I'm immature. That was like my whole thing. Yelling during the Cesaro, Cesaro uh, match. That's what I, I thought they might have been yelling boring. Oh, that was not. I, I wasn't interested in that at all. I don't remember. I don't know. It wasn't even a poorly wrestled match and it was boring. No, the Cesaro Ryback match wasn't bad at all. I didn't think. It was bad at all, but nobody cared. I mean, I didn't even I didn't care. care. I didn't give a shit about that. I was bored by I it. I like those guys, both of them. It, it just goes to show that people are more into chanting shit than they are the actual people. Uh, it, 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 I feel the same way about Daniel Bryan to an extent. People like chanting yes more than they even cared about fucking Brian most of the time. And it's the same thing with fucking Ryback. Yeah. He's more, but they don't give a fuck about what he's doing. The he he can't do anything. What? I thought his game has stepped up considerable since he's been back. He had a good match with Cesaro tonight. He's not botching as much. He seems to have opened up his moveset a little bit. I will I say that. I will uh, say.